Oh, yeah. Okay, this is uh, trivia time, and yeah, you know, it did cloud up at least now, but right. what what fine weather oh, for December. No, no snow on the ground, temperatures reaching into the 40s. Right. You can't ask for much more in December in Fargamore, the Red River Valley, and across the land. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, remember, folks, that uh, trivia time is also sponsored by Legacy Wealth Management. I'll have a message or two from them as we go along today. Um the first thing, of course, is that we need to line up contestants, as always. Mm-hmm. So all you got to do to play is call us. In the fargo Mort area, you want to call 237-5948, 237-5948. And if you're anywhere else, it's 800-880-5346, 800-880-5346, or on your cell phone, pound 5346. And okay. I was told that we do have some prizes, Will but we? it is a, a Santa se- surprise. <laughs> We we got we got deep into last week's show and uh, we did have one caller off air. What are we playing for today? Uh, we, so we did. There is the promise that we will have something right. lined up. Yep. Okay. Great. Well, folks, they they like the thrill of competition. Absolutely. You know? The thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll take a little break, get some ca- uh, callers lined up, and we'll get the game underway. Trivia time here on the Mighty Seven Ninety KFGO. My grandkids love my smile. So when I look for a Medicare plan, dental is a big deal. Health Partners Sanford has the dental options I want at a price I can afford, plus vision, hearing, free virtual visits, and more. They're my benefits I'll actually use, partner. Find a Medicare plan for you with low monthly premiums at healthpartners.com slash your Medicare partner. Health Partners is a cost plan with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in Health Partners depends on contract renewal. This is a paid actor portrayal. Happy holidays from a cutting edge. How would you like to save thousands of dollars on a diamond? And how about saving hundreds and maybe thousands on a mounting? Well, now you can do it at a cutting edge. We've combined our diamond sale with our great mounting sale. For the first time ever, you can save more money than you ever could before at a cutting edge gallery of jewelry. So if you want the biggest, whitest, brightest diamond, no matter what your budget, come to a cutting edge. 4507 33rd Avenue South, Fargo. Come to McDonald's and enjoy one of our new bakery sweets, like a cinnamon roll, apple fritter, or blueberry muffin. With any size, premium roast coffee or soft drink for just $3. Agriculture is an important part of our state, and KFGO is your number one source for ag news with Sarah Heinrich and Sam Halsengar broadcasting from the Enterprise Sales Ag Studios. Enterprise Sales Company of Valley City, your drive over dump pit, grain storage, and grain handling experts. If you wanted to see the face of God, where would you look? Dr. Michael Ziegler says, seek God's face where you hear God's word. This week on The Lutheran Hour. Sunday morning, 730 here on KFGO. The KFGO Listener Cookbook is coming soon. The kickoff event is sponsored by Hospice of the Red River Valley and will be at Heirlooms on 32nd Avenue on December 10th. Go to KFGO.com and nominate your favorite charity to receive the proceeds of the book presented by the Dakota Medical Foundation. I got wow. the bad case of loving you. That's dude. right, baby. Right, golly. <laughs> Rob, oh, the late, great Robert Palmer. He was a classic. He really was. Okay, this is Trivia Time. I'm Steve Poitras, producer today, Polly Lines. Who, if you've ever followed the career of Polly Lines, Polly probably <laughs> holds, probably the, tired he holds by the, now. No, he holds the <laughs> distinction of having worked at more radio and TV stations in this market than anyone else I know of. That's right. I worked at more radio, TV. I was everywhere. Nobody's worked at more places than me. (laughs) All right. (laughs) We'll get the game underway. Uh, We've got Keevan S. down there in Venturia. Hi, Keevan. Good afternoon, Steve. Keevan, if you were uh, passing along a recipe for a cookbook, uh, what might it be for? Oh, I make some great hot dishes, or I don't know, maybe up in the valley, you call them uh, casseroles. Or or oh, what? no, if but if you I call them casserole around here, you're putting on airs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's a hot great, dish. I make some great hot dishes. You give me some of that good old tater tot hot dish. <laughs> no, no, not okay. that one. Oh, that's a good Okay, well, anyway, let's play a little uh, trivia time here, Keevan. Then this first question is billboarded as the Joe Lear special. Joe is Doug Lear's son. Fine young man. 
and he knows his trivia. He knew the answer to this question. Who was the last U.S. president to have facial hair? Whether it was a mustache. Taft. Oh, you knew it straight away. Taft. Yes, it was William Howard Taft, who uh, was president back, I think he left office in about 2000, uh, I mean 1913. Do you know that he, uh, I, th- I think we've asked this before, that do you know what position uh, uh, William Howard Taft went on to after he was in uh, was president, Keevan? Well, he's the one who became a Supreme Court Justice? Yes, he was the uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Another little factoid about William Howard Taft, who is often kind of uh, uh, it, it made fun of that he was so overweight. In the first year after he left the presidency, he lost 80 pounds. So, I wish he'd left me a secret. <laughs> well, there's diet and there's exercise, and after that, I guess all there'd be is disease. <laughs> 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 okay, Keevan, your next question. What is the mountain where six U.S. Marines raised the U.S. flag on February 23rd, 1945, during the Battle of Iwo Jima? What was the name of that mountain? Suribachi. Or Suribachi. Close enough. Elevation 554 feet. But, of course, that's coming right out of sea level. All right. That's two for you, Keevan. On what island was Napoleon Bonaparte born? Oh, man. On August 15th of 1769. Well, this is one where he is exiled, too, but all I can think of is Elba. Yeah, that was this first... uh, his first exile. First exile. Yep. Yeah. And, yep. and, and no, that's not where he was born, though. But Keevan, you're leading here early with two. Now, maybe we'll talk to you later. We'll see how it goes. If I can get a hold of my uh, – talk to you later. That's Keevan S. Venturia. We have open lines, folks, at 237-5948 or 1-800-880-5346. And we say have, good afternoon. Randy M. Ottertail, Minnesota. Hi, Randy. Howdy, Steve. Okay. Napoleon Bonaparte, not Bonaparte, Bonaparte, <laughs> was born on what island, Randy? Oh, well, that's the tough one. Let's go with Sardinia. Oh, you're real close, but it wasn't Sardinia, Randy. It wasn't Sardinia. Okay. Geographically, he's very close. Ooh. So, who knows? 237-5948, 1-800-880-5346, on what island... Was Napoleon born? I don't think it was Gilligan's Island, was it? <laughs> a three-day cruise. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Three hour ah. cruise, yes. So how can tell me? We can ID stir some while we wait for that, I want to remind you again that Trivia Time is sponsored by Legacy Wealth Management. We're expert at providing strategies to protect and grow your portfolio. You might be uh, nearing uh, retirement. You might be thinking about a 401k rollover, other retirement plans. Give Legacy Wealth Management a call. You'll likely reach, uh, well, any number of people, but, of course, uh, Brady Brunswold or the president and CEO of Legacy Wealth Management, Paul Myers. Their phone number is 701-365-8083. And we say good afternoon, Stephen T. in Moorhead. Hello, Stephen. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Well, very well. I hope better than the last time I was on. Oh, didn't you do so well then? No, no. Well, you'll get over it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would hope. Or I'll die. Okay, we're asking, <laughs> on what island was Napoleon Bonaparte born? That was Corsica. Of course it was. A Corsica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Uh, those other guesses, Sardinia is just to the south. Corsica is part of, or is a French island. Sardinia, I believe, which is just to the south of Corsica, a short way. As Sardinia is uh, belongs to Italy. Okay, Stephen T., that's one. Your next question, what alcoholic beverage is made by fermenting a solution of honey and water? Meaning, mead. Yes, mead. They say that meat is so old it dates back. They've that it might have been. They might have been fermenting it as early as seven thousand years BC in northern China. Whoa! Yeah, that's right old. Okay, 
<laughs> Your next question, Stephen T. Roy Rogers' horse, as virtually everyone knows, was named Trigger. But what was the name of Roy's wife, Dale Evans' horse? What was the name of Dale Evans' horse? Oh, rats. Um, no, it was not rats. <laughs> no. <laughs> How about Scout? Scout. Scout was uh, Tonto's horse. Yeah, the Lone oh, Ranger's horse was Silver, and Tonto's was Scout. So you're kind of in the ballpark, but uh, not precisely what we're looking at. Well, this would leave you. Keevan S. got two. You got two, so technically you're in second place right now, Stephen. Well, maybe we'll maybe we'll play later. We'll talk to you. Right. Okay, thanks, Stephen. Uh-oh, look out, folks. We've got Jim T. from North Fargo. Hello, Jim. Yeah, howdy. Yeah, you know, that's that's a tough question, uh, uh, uh First thing I'm going to say is uh, Polly is a hell of a nice kid, even though he did go to Shanley High School. Well, hey, we won't hold we won't hold that against him. <laughs> but uh, no, he's a he's a great guy. Uh, I'm just going to throw out a funny funny guess. Let's say Flicka, my friend Flicka. There you go. <laughs> that was another horse, but it wasn't horse that, of, it wasn't a, it was a horse of a different name. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't flicka, Jim. You can play again later. Okay, that was Jim T. Open lines at 237-5948 or 1-800-880-5346. Tom O. Detroit Lakes. Hi, Tom. Hi, Steve. Do you, Tom, know the name of Dale Evans' horse? Uh, I think I do. It was Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Indeed it was. Did you know that, Polly? I did not. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's kind of, you know, I haven't seen Polly. I, I, you know, I've known Polly at a lot. You know, I, I was at a, more than a couple of stations around town, too. But um, but it, it's kind of a treat to see Polly here. And he's he's a veteran at producing this show quite a number kind of, of times, yeah. actually, right? Yeah. Okay, Tom, I got carried away there. What group did the song, the cover of the Rolling Stone, in, came out in... Late 1972, it peaked at number six on the Billboard charts in early 73. Who did the song, the cover of the Rolling Stone? Was it uh, Dr. John? It was not Dr. John. You're in the right track, but it was not Dr. John. Uh, Can't accept that, Tom. You're in the ballpark, but it's not Dr. John. Okay. (laughs) You know who it is, right, Paul? Absolutely. Okay. I know we have folks out there who know who did... The cover of the Rolling Stone back in the early uh, 70s. 237 5948 1 800 880 5346. While we wait to get a call, should we take our first commercial break Why there, Polly? We, Steve? Okay. This is Trivia Time on the Mighty 790 KFJ. We'll be back right after this. Buying the perfect gift can be hard for loved ones, but you can never go wrong with a gift card. Shop local and support our community businesses this season, like Ole and Lena's Pizzeria, The Ball Yard, Sweet Dreams Confections, and Blaze Pizza. Finish your shopping list by purchasing gift cards for Christmas. The Ronald McDonald House Charities of the Red River Valley is happy to support our hospital partners who are working so hard to keep our community safe. Thank you for all you do for families in our community and those who travel here to receive the care they need. You are amazing. What's going on, Fargo Force fans? It's time for some hockey. Come over to Shields Arena this Friday and Saturday for loads of fun and, of course, some great hockey. That's right, the Fargo Force are loaded up, ready to go, as well as they're the leader in the Western Conference. Safety measures are in place, masks are required, sanitizers are placed everywhere, as well as zigzag seating. See you at 7.05 Friday and 6.05 on Saturday over at Shields Arena. The holidays may look different this year, but at Muscatel's Pre-Owned, we believe that we can get through this time if we all pull together. So, through the end of this year, get a great deal on any pre-owned vehicle from Muscatel's and choose from a selection of area restaurant gift cards. To date, Muscatel's has given away over $22,000 in restaurant cards. Neighbors helping neighbors. Have a safe and happy holiday season. Muscatel Pre-Owned, just off the interstate in Moorhead or online at muscatel.com. KFGO believes the community should have free and open access to news, ag, sports, and information. KFGO AM and KFGO.com are introducing a section dedicated to celebrating the lives that are no longer with us. 
Submit your obituaries at KFGO.com, which can include a photo, no word limit, and this access will be free and open to family, friends, and the public to read about your loved one's life, memorial service, and tributes. The KFGO subscription-free obituaries, available at KFGO.com and supported by Dakota Monument. Don't touch me. Hey, Ray. Hey, Sean. Oh. Tell him. Careful now. we got to get... Uh, we got to get the answer to this. Well, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. We got to, You can keep playing in the background yeah. then. Welcome back to Tribute Time. Our producer is Polly Lines. I'm Steve Poitras. And we've got Dan S. up there in our villa. Hello, Dan. Hello, Steve. Dan, I have a feeling you might know. Who did the song, the cover of the Rolling Stone? Uh, that'd be Dr. Hook. Dr. And the Madison Show. Yes, yeah, bring it up a little bit, Paul. On the cover of a Rolling Stone. Wow. Rolling Stone. What time is yeah, Tom O. said Dr. Dr. Hook. Dr. Hook's a great uh, yeah. musician, the late Dr. Mac Rebinack. Mm-hmm. But uh, he did like, well, it must have been the wrong, right place, but it must have been the wrong, wrong time. time. <laughs> God, he was great. Okay, Dan, yes, it was uh, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. And they actually then did get uh, up on the cover, but they did it in like cartoon version. It wasn't an, oh, it wasn't yeah, an actual picture. Okay. Strange. All right, Dan. I, rem- I remember it well. Well, you're, you've been around a while then, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. What was it that was discovered in 1799 by a French soldier who was part of a French expedition that provided the key to translating the hieroglyphics? What did they discover? Uh, okay, two answers. Um, well, if the first one's wrong, you're right. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Dead Sea Scrolls. No, it was not the Dead Sea Scrolls. So it's the it. other one now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't say it. You'll talk to you later, maybe. I won't. Dan. Okay. 237-5948-1-800-880-5346 to play Trivia Time. And we've got Steve H. from Hatton. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Good. Uh, what was discovered in 1799 by a French soldier who was part of a French expedition that provided the key to translating the hieroglyphics? That would be the Rosetta Stone. Yes, the Rosetta Stone. I wonder if that's the other one Dan S. had in mind. Probably. Okay. It is now, you can see it at the British Museum in London. You wonder if maybe Egypt wouldn't like it back. <laughs> That's where they found it. Okay, Steve, your next question. The United Nations Security Council has 15 member countries. How many are permanent members? I think there's five. Yes, it is five. I'll give you another point if you can enumerate all five. This won't knock you out if you can't. Do you know all five of the permanent members of the U.N. Security Council? Well, I think it'd be the U.S. and Great Britain and and France yes. and so China. Yes, and Japan. Oh, you missed by one. The fifth is Russia, not Japan. Wow, Russia. good job, though. Okay, all right. Next, real question: Johnny Cash had thirteen number one songs on the country music charts, but he only had one that got into the top ten of the pop music chart. Uh, a song that reached number two and stayed there for three weeks in 1969. What was that Johnny Cash song? Well, my first thought would be Ring of Fire. Is that your guess? That's my guess. No, that was a big country hit, but that was not that was not his pop hit. That was not his pop hit, but that's a good guess, okay. Ring of Fire. If I remember right, that was written by uh, June Carter. I Cash, think so, yeah. yeah. Okay, Steve, good job. So he got two. Keevan S. still leads. He was the first to get to two. Then Steve and T. of Moorhead got two. Steve H. of Hatton just got two. And we have open lines. Can you tell me, uh, what was the only Johnny Cash hit that got into the top ten of the pop music chart? It got up to number two uh, and stayed there for three weeks in 1969. What was that song? 237 5948 one eight hundred eight eight zero five three four six. Hmm. Any song coming to your mind there, Paul? Oh, Without giving it away. He already took mine. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you got a little phone activity there. Um, 
I remember, if I remember right, I was uh, serving in the Army at that time stationed at Fort Ord, California. And I believe uh, with some other buddies, we were visiting a beach there in Carmel on the sea. And I think it was Charlie Kamish out of Mayville. And he, he said, listen to this song. And that's when I first, it was in 69. Okay, we've got Randy M. from Otter Tail back. Randy, do you know the song we're talking about? What year did you say it was? 1969. How about A Boy Named Sue? That's the one we're looking for. What could I do? <laughs> I think I'll name him Bill or George or anything but Sue. Randy, your next question. The European Union has 27 countries. Which of those 27 countries has the most people? Um, France. France is number two with 67 million, but the country that leads them has about 16 million well, more, but it's a good guess. Are, huh? Yeah, What's that? Right. Don't give it away. Okay, thanks, Randy. We've got uh, Marvin M. from West Fargo. Hello, Marvin. Hello, how are you doing? Marvin, I believe you're playing for the first time, aren't you? Well, I might have played a long time ago. Okay. Time. Well, welcome to Trivia Time. Can you tell me, and don't guess France, the European Union has 27 countries. Which of those countries has the most people? And don't guess France. The European Union has 27 countries. We're hearing Which the delay. Uh, England. Uh, well, uh, England wouldn't be right, but you know England is leaving the union. But they they wouldn't have uh, been a correct answer either. So thanks, Marvin. You know, it's not uh, not England, not the UK. All right, two three seven five nine four eight one eight hundred eight eight zero five three four eight six. We've got Rod E. Moorhead on the line. Hello, Rod. Hi there. You know I've seen London and I've also seen France. Yes. <laughs> you know that? Yes, I do. Now, you mentioned Dr. Hook and a boy named Sue. What connects those two? I've seen London and I've seen France. No, Dr. Hook and a uh, boy <laughs> named Sue. What connects those two? <laughs> I, you got to have to tell me, Rod. I, I can't. Shel Silverstein. He oh. wrote almost everything for, for Dr. Hook. Very good. And wrote that, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shel you know, a good in his own in, right. you know, I work some in Fargo schools. You'll find Shel Silverstein wrote a lot of kids' books, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, he's a heck of a songwriter. No yeah, I'll give you that, yeah. Okay, uh, Rod, the question right now, uh, the European Union has 27 member countries. Well, maybe it's 26 with uh, the U.K. leaving, but which is the most populous? Don't guess France. Don't guess the United Kingdom. Which country do you think has the most people? Germany. It is. Germany with about 83 million. Then France with about 67 million, followed by Italy with 60 million. Okay, Rod E., your next question. That's all. Uh, what is the world's largest Spanish-speaking country by population? Which, uh, which country in the world has the most people that speak Spanish? Hmm. Well, I assume it isn't Spain, so I'll go with Mexico. Good way to go, yes. And it's not even close. Now, somebody said, what about Brazil? Well, Brazil, of course, they speak Portuguese. That's Portuguese, yeah. Uh, Mexico, according to my numbers, Mexico has 129 million people. And then, more than Spain, Colombia of South America has 49 million. Then Spain at 46 million, closely followed by Argentina with 45 million. But, yes, Mexico... Is the correct answer. Okay, your next question, Rod. And you are the fourth now to get to two. Uh, so you get another. You'd move right into the lead just like that. Who played Captain Von Trapp in the, ni in the hit 19 er, 1965 movie musical, The Sound of Music, opposite Julie Andrews? Who was that actor? Uh, Plummer. Christopher Plummer. Way to go. Oh, I tell you, Rod can really show off his stuff sometimes, can he? Yeah, broad range of knowledge. It was Christopher Plummer, who is still with us in oh, about yeah. a week. On December 13th, he'll be 91 years wow. old. Wow. Yeah. Holy moly, that's old. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy moly. Do they say that 
They say Wooly Bully, but they say Holy Moly. Do they say that anywhere else? That's a song that didn't quite make it for me. So. What, Wooly Bully? Holy Moly. Yeah, <laughs> I recorded it, didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Couldn't even Holy guacamole. <laughs> okay, Rod, you got three. By the way, folks, we have open lines. Once Rod, you know, loses, I mean, misses a question, we, we could go, you, you'd get right on. 237-5948 or 1-800-880-5346 to play Trivia Time. So getting back to it here, Butcher Holler. Was the childhood home of whom, Rod? I was born a coal miner's daughter. Did you know that? <laughs> I thought you were a Old potato. I, I thought you were a potato, a potato farmer's. <laughs> well, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, Loretta Lynn is right. Closets. Yeah. <laughs> what? <did> he... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, Butcher Holler, Kentucky. Yes, Loretta Lynn. Uh, it's by a little larger place called Van Leer. I had to look this up. It's in far eastern. It's, I mean, it's real hillbilly country, deep <laughs> eastern Kentucky, only about one county away from the like West Duck Virginia Dynasty line. Type. What's that? Duck Dynasty type. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Is that where they hail from? I don't I've know. never watched when, the. What's that? What, when you're in a holler, do you know you're in a holler? I mean, is it like a. A bowl in the ground. Yeah, it's a, it's 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 it, it, anyway. it's just a, it's a, uh, a, a changing of hollow, like living in a hollow, a holler. But I mean, is it a, 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 a geographical thing? So it'd be know, like, like it, 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 it would a... be sort of a depression. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, you can still visit. So, you can visit there in Butcher Holly. You can visit Loretta Lynn's childhood home. And if you've ever watched the movie, they pretty much, I don't know if they shot it at the original place, but they duplicated because I saw a picture and it's just about exactly like you see in the movie. Yeah. So. Are there any hollers in Clay County? Hollers. Well, it might be over there in the eastern side. Uh, the western side is county pretty flat. All right. uh, I don't know if we had any little hollers there just east of Downer or not. We had, we had swimming holes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gravel pits, yeah. Yeah, the water table was high. Okay, here's your next question, Rod E. of Moorhead. Who was Don Quixote's sidekick? Sancho Panza. I tell you, this Rod, is he's a marvel, isn't he? Yes, Sancho. I'm Sancho, yes, I'm Sancho. There's a song like that uh, from Man of La Mancha. Uh, painful as that may be, yes, Polly, right. I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Rod, let's see if you can make it six. Who was variously known as the singing brakeman, the blue yodeler, and the father of country music? Oh, I should know this. Uh, Merle Hager did a tribute to him, the old uh, mule skinner yodeling. The heck is his name? No, it's not coming to me. Jimmy Rogers. Way to go. Yes, Jimmy Rogers. Mule Skinner Blues. Yeah, he, he yet he was only 35 when he died in 1933 uh, from pulmonary uh, pulmonary hemorrhage brought on by tuberculosis. The, the great Jimmy Rogers. All right, that's six, Rod. Rod, you know anybody who's listened to the show over the years know that you've often done pretty well. Do you happen to remember what is the the largest number you ever posted? Did you get like a nine or a ten? Oh, I don't like to brag about myself, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking you, though, you know. No, I have no idea. Okay, all right. Yes, we know, I you're, don't know. you're incredibly modest. It, it really all depends on the question. Do you do a math question, I'm done. You do a Bible <laughs> question, I'm done. So it all just right. matters. To so to knock you out, so. solve the quadratic equation for X. Do it now, now. <laughs> yeah, no, if you bring up one of your meteor, <laughs> meteor questions or something, oh, I'm gone. Okay. It's just a matter of what you bring up. Okay. Well, Rod, you got six. What what Shakespeare play begins with three witches coming on stage? Oh, uh, the old Scottish play, Macbeth. It is. When shall we three meet again? In thunder, lightning, or in rain? When the hurly burly's done, when the battle's lost and won, that will be ere the set of sun. Hey, wow. Uh, well, did you play one of the witches at one time? No, but I was in a production of Mac. Actually, I've been in a couple of productions of Macbeth, playing minor roles. So, yeah. No. <laughs> you didn't play Macbeth? No. Okay. No, that'd be a great Were role. Were you but... Macduff? <laughs> no, I was oh. uh, in a production down in the Graduate Repertory Company at Illinois State. I played a 
a, a sort of a composite of roles. It, in the program, it said Lennox Ross et al. E T A L. You know. hmm. And then in one done by Undiscovered co- uh, Country, uh, whatever Shakespeare in the Park here, I played three roles. I was Old Seward, and I was uh, a couple others. I can't remember. But Macbeth is perhaps of all of Shakespeare's about thirty-seven, thirty-eight plays. Macbeth is probably my favorite. Huh. All right. So we got that. That was Macbeth, and that boosted you to seven. Holy cow. During the American Revolutionary War, who was the leader of the Green Mountain Boys who captured Fort Ticonderoga from the British in 1775? He also makes a heck of a dress of drawers, Ethan (laughs) Allen. (laughs) Yes, he found time to turn out. He could really turn stuff on that lathe. He was quite the (laughs) worst. Yeah. Oh, man. Ethan Allen is correct. What company, Rod E. of Moorhead, what company introduced the first successful electric shaver to the market in 1931? Chic. Chic, yes. Wow. Chic. Jacob Schick patented it in 1927 and then put it on the market in 1931. You know, I, I thought virtually... No one used electric razors anymore, but I, I was trying to do a little research, and evidently there's still a large percentage of shavers who do use Yeah, I don't electric. like them personally, but... Well, I had used them for a while because when I first started shaving, my dad did. Oh. And okay. then I did that, and then I discovered it. And I said, geez, Dad, you get such a better shave if you're wet shaving. So he, he switched, too. Hmm. Okay. Rod, you got nine. What antelope of southern Africa lent its name to a brand of athletic sh- shoe? Impala. No, that's no, just no, the no, car. no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> that's the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you got a nine. Oh, well. You got nine, Rod. So <laughs> if somebody <laughs> should surpass that, you can play again. But that's a pretty good total. Think before I talk. Oh, yep. yeah. <laughs> okay, Rod. Oh, well. Okay, that's Rod E. Let's go to. Do we need a break? Okay. Uh, Keevan is holding on deck, and we have uh, open lines at two three seven five nine four eight or one eight hundred eight eight zero five three four six. Well, I'll take a little bit. Rod E. posted a nine. Keevan S. is in second with two. We'll be back with more trivia time here on the Mighty 790 KFGO. A1 Automotive and Transmission Service is your friendly neighborhood automotive service center. We are ready to take care of all of your holiday travel vehicle service needs. A1 is the area's most complete automotive service center, including engines, transmissions, suspensions, alignments, and tires. I am Bruce Beckeris and invite you to give us a call at 701-282-8300. That's A1 Automotive, 701-282-8300. Your home for University of North Dakota hockey is right here as the Fighting Hawks have some unfinished business from last season. Kirsten put in front of deflection and a goal! Catch all the action for UND hockey this year brought to you by Interstate Batteries and Remax Legacy Realty. Dave Noah, agent. Sparkling Ice from DS Beverages and the Black Rifle Coffee Company are happy to help. Introducing KFGO's Give Them a Break Snack Packs. Filled with cans of Black Rifle Coffee and Sparkling Ice for a pick-me-up and then a bubbly refresher for after. Look for Black Rifle Coffee and Sparkling Ice in your favorite favorite store today. Hey, it's Bonnie and Doug from the KFGO Morning Crew. Nordic Home Inspection joins us every Tuesday at 640. To tell you what you should keep on top of or fix to keep your house in tip-top shape. Lars from Nordic Home Inspection will also answer your housing questions every Tuesday at 640 on the KFGO Morning Crew. Season's greetings. This is Steve Ashey, your local thriving financial professional. I'd like to thank the many families I work with and extend a welcome to those looking for help making money decisions that reflect your values. Contact me today at 701-293-9358. Merry Christmas. At KFGO, we're dedicated to delivering weather forecasts across all platforms. KFGO Chief Meteorologist Tom Shemansky here. KFGO Weather Across All Devices is brought to you by Furniture for Less. Furniture for Less is having its biggest Thanksgiving sale ever. This is the only time this entire year that all mattresses are 70% off, including twin, bowl, queen, and kings. From starters to ultra premium hybrid master bedroom beds, the biggest discount of the entire year on name brand mattresses and only during the Thanksgiving sale. Furniture for less. Cheyenne Street, West Fargo. Join us for Let's Talk About Bling Tuesday, December 8th as Brenda Geary from Schmidt's Gems and Fine Jewelry gives us price point holiday gift ideas that you'd be surprised how far your dollar goes. The hard to buy for spouse and the last minute proposals. Let's Talk About Bling Tuesday at 110 on KFGO. 
It's your shot at a free The Works Car Wash from Don's every Thursday as we play Audibles. Sponsored by Don's Car Wash on Afternoons Live with me, Tyler Axness. Thursdays at 335 on the mighty 790 KFGO. Look at all these credit card bills from our Black Friday shopping. What are we going to do? Access. No, seriously, what are we going to do to pay all these bills? A-X-I-S. Access? What are you talking about? Let's go do a clinical study together at Access Clinicals. I was looking on their website, and they have studies for healthy men and women paying all the way up to $5,500. $5,500 each? Wow. And if we both do the study, then we can go on a vacation. For more information, call 218-284-2947 or go to accesspays.com. Come. For the one standing guard. For the eagle-eyed. For the knights in shining armor. And for all those who support them. We are Granger, your experienced safety partner, offering supplies and solutions for every industry, committed to helping keep your facilities safe and your people safer. Call clickgranger.com/safety or just stop by. Granger. For the ones who get it done. At the Home Depot, get Black Friday pricing now through December on great gift ideas for any doer on your list, like a Ryobi Impact Drill Driver Kit for just $99. bucks. was $129. Save on top tools, appliances, the latest in smart home tech, even holiday decor to light up the living room or bring joy to the neighborhood. Black Friday savings, in-store, online, store-wide. Gift giving, improved from the Home Depot. How doers get more done. U.S. only, while supplies last, see store for details. Little Led Zeppelin to wake everybody up. Been a long time since the rock and roll. Yeah, baby. Been a long time since I did this troll. Welcome back, Trivia Time. Sponsored by Legacy Wealth Management. Well, I tell you, those markets are wild. Uh, Polly, I don't know. Yeah. Polly, Lines, our producer. Hello. Uh, all three of the major indexes closed the week again at new record highs. Wow. Yeah, it's been something. Okay, let's get back to the game here. We have a couple open lines, folks. 237-5948-1800. 8805346 and we have if I can get my Oh yeah, there we go. Keevan S. Hi Keevan. Good afternoon again, sir. Okay. The uh question is what antelope of southern Africa lent its name to a brand of athletic shoe? Yeah, well, first of all, my hat's off to Roddy is impressive, but the shoe is a Reebok and I believe the antelope was a Timbuk. Well, the Reebok is right, but then what did you say? The antelope was what? I think it's called a Ginsbach. Well, I don't know about that, but Reebok is the name we're looking for. Yeah, and you said that. Right, uh, yeah. That's... Yeah, Rod had, and, and Impala is also an antelope, but like he, the, the, you know, Chevy named a model after the Impala. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a Chevy car. My dad had several of them. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't until the late 50s that they first introduced that name Impala, though, right? I I can't tell you. I, I remember a 61. I remember a 59 Impala. They had the crazy tail, and then the 60 was similar. But I don't think there was an Impala before 59. I could be wrong. could be wrong. Okay, Keevan, your next question. The song Under the Boardwalk has been covered by many artists, but what group did the original and had a big hit hit with it, peaking at number four on Billboard back in 1964. Who was the original group? I'll give you that. Oh, did under the boardwalk. I can hear it. Mm. I can hear it clear as a bell. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. Oh. <laughs> you know I'm not going to waste the time. It's not going to be quick enough. I'll let you move on. You don't know? Okay. Well, th- it's Keevan. You're still holding down second place with that two you got earlier. Okay. Thanks, Keevan. Two three seven five nine four eight one eight hundred eight eight zero five three four six. Randy M is back again. Randy, can you tell me who had the original hit in nineteen sixty four with "Under the Boardwalk"? The Drifters. It was the Drifters. It was they a did great follow up to that uh, called "Sand in My Shoes," I believe. Is that right? Yeah. What American university is in a city named Moscow? Or Moscow, if you say, I think actually Moscow is the preferred pronunciation, but a lot of us say Moscow. But what American university is in a city named Moscow? 
Rod would probably get this, but I won't. I have no guess. So I'm out. Okay. Thanks, Randy. Yeah. All right. 237-5948 or 1-800-880-0536. Steve H. Hatton is back. Let's see. Steve got a two. Steve, what American university is in a city? Did I punch him up? Steve, what American university is in a city named Moscow? Named Moscow? M-O-S-C-O-W. Yeah. Whether you pronounce it Moscow or Moscow, what American university is in a city named Moscow? And it's in this country. It's it's not in Russia. I've got two choices. I'll probably pick the wrong one, but I'm going to say uh, University of Idaho. And you'd be right. You'd be right. It is the University of Idaho, which is not a very large city at all. Um, If a food dish is served a la Florentine, for example, chicken Alfredo a la Florentine, what vegetable will will be found in it if it's a dish served a la Florentine? A la Florentine. How about spinach? Spinach would be right. Yes. Okay, that's two. Keevan S. has two. You had two earlier, but he's right. So you'd move into second. It took 21,000 workers three years to build a Trans-Alaska pipeline. In what decade was that pipeline built? Trans-Alaskan pipeline. I would guess the 70s. And you would be correct, sir, for three. Moving into second place, it was from 1974 to 1977. And I was looking uh, into this. After oil extraction is complete, or in other words, there's just not enough oil to keep it, Alaska is required to remove all traces of that pipeline whenever that should happen. Yeah, all right. So you're in second, Steve, with three. What kind of oil, a product of the flax Plant is used to make most oil paints. What kind of oil? Linseed oil. Linseed oil for four. Next question. What consumer product uses the slogan, when it rains, it pours? First introduced back in 1914. Morton Salt. Morton Salt is right for five. All right. Next question. What play... Dating back to 1904, was subtitled "The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up." Oh, uh, wouldn't grow up. Would it be Peter Pan? It would be Peter Pan for six. Peter Pan by J. M. Barry. What? I was stuck between that one and. Uh, Oh, well, no, I forget the other one already. So, okay. <laughs> Never <laughs> okay. mind. Okay, <laughs> let's see if you can get this one here. Uh, Paul McCartney <laughs> shifted from playing rhythm guitar to playing bass in 1961 when who quit the Beatles to enroll at the Hamburg College of Art? And the Beatles had to come up with a bass player, and that's when Paul started playing bass. But who, uh, who quit wow. the Beatles to go to art school? Well, I'm thinking Pete Best, but I know that's wrong. Uh, hmm. It's not an easy question. I can't, I can't, I can't think of the other one, but I, I'll just say Pete Best, but I know that's wrong. Yeah, he was the drummer that they sort of yeah. forced out. Okay, Steve. Well, you're comfortably in second place. That was a six. Way to go. Okay, moving on here, and we have about five minutes to play. Two three seven five nine four eight one eight hundred eight eight zero five three four six. We got Tom O, Detroit Lakes, back with us again. Tom, can you tell me? Uh, who quit the Beatles in 1961 to go to the Hamburg College of Art and forced Paul McCartney to start playing bass for the uh, uh, Beatles? Oh, uh, was it Stu Sutcliffe? That's exactly right. Yes. Stu, S-T-U, Sutcliffe, S-U-T-C-L-I-F-F-E. Way to go, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Stu, unfortunately, sadly, died the next year, at 21 in April of 1962, from a cerebral hemorrhage. Hmm. Yeah. What are male honeybees called? Uh, uh, drones? They are called drones. All right, that's two. 
the number one hit, the number one hit pop song overall of 1969 was Sugar, Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> who did? Who was it by? Who who did Sugar, Sugar, that number one hit for the whole year of 1969? Um, the Archies? Way to go, Tom. Oh, it was the was Archies, <laughs> which featured the voices of Ron Dante, Tony Wine, and Andy Kim. And you might remember Andy Kim. He co-wrote that song, Sugar, Sugar, and he also did Rock Me Gently, which was a big hit in 1974. Andy Kim. All right, that's three, Tom. Next question. What musical was based on Thornton Wilder's play, The Matchmaker? What musical? Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, uh, uh. Uh, Fiddler on the Roof? No, it, no, there's a matchmaker in Fiddler on the Roof. That's a good deal. Oh. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> w- what's her name, uh, Yenta or something like that. Uh, yeah. That's a good guess, but no, it uh, it wasn't Fiddler on the Roof, though. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Way to go. Yep. He got a three. Okay, wide open line. Somebody knows this, I'm sure. 237-5948-1800-880-5346. What musical was based on Thornton Wilder's play, The Matchmaker? Hmm. And even you know, and, and it was a good guess by Tom saying uh, Fiddler on the Roof because there's yeah. a song and it goes Matchmaker, Matchmaker, That's make right. me a match, find me a find, catch me a catch. Yeah. Yes, uh, one of the Fiddler on the Roof, uh, one of the greatest musicals ever, for sure. Okay, we got. Uh, looks like somebody calling in two three seven five nine four eight one eight hundred eight eight zero five three four six. And uh, I guess it's still. We're still waiting to find out what we're playing for today. Okay. <laughs> We've got, is this Pat C. in Fargo? Yep, hey. Pat, are you playing for the first time? Today I am. <laughs> You've played before. I'm a seasoned veteran. Oh, you, you're a veteran? Oh, yeah. Okay. Somehow that didn't look familiar. Maybe it's because Polly put it up with a small C. Oh, that's it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Pat. C. Pat C. Your last name isn't Klein, is it? Pat C. Klein. Oh, maybe if you, you know if I think in the upper register, sure. <laughs> Pat, Whatever what, you want. What, mu- <laughs> what musical was based on Thornton Wilder's play, The Matchmaker? I'm thinking uh, The Nutcracker. No, it was not The Nutcracker. No, it was not oh. The Nutcracker. Oh, no. well, I, All right. I tried. <laughs> you certainly did, and we appreciate the attempt. So, what do we got to play here? A minute, minute or so? Who one can minute, call in? Yeah. Uh, 237-5948-1800-880-5346. This is Trivia Time, sponsored by the advisors at Legacy Wealth Management. Boy, I tell you, the, the markets continue wild. With the, They're all closing. Pretty I mean, crazy. It was a great uh, bull market this last week. But if uh, you want to, uh, maybe you got multiple accounts you needed consolidated. Yeah, visit them at uh, Legacy Wealth Management. They'll drop a plan for you at no obligation. And uh, the phone number for them is 701-365-8083. So what? We'll go to our final break here, Polly Lines, our producer today, and we'll come back and tell you how Trivia Time turned out today here on the Mighty 790 KFGO. <laughs> The North Dakota Autism Center would like your help this holiday season. They are dedicated to helping individuals and families affected by autism. One of the biggest challenges these families face is finding community-based activities where they feel welcome. With donations from people like you, the Autism Center can provide community programs to help. Please think of the North Dakota Autism Center for your holiday giving. Make your donation at ndautismcenter.org. North Dakota Autism Center, awesome care from the heart. Hi, I'm Gina, RN, owner and operator of Lilac Homes Assisted Living. We have been in Moorhead for six years and are excited to be open in Dilworth, providing an elevated level of care in a small family setting. Lilac Homes is a place where residents can stay through any transition, including end-of-life care. When it comes to our residents, I love them, I advocate for them, and they make me smile every day. I welcome you to Lilac Homes Enhanced Assisted Living and Memory Care. 
Each January, the community donates to Sanford Children's Hospital during the Cares for Kids Radiothon. Now you can support the kids all year long with Miracle Mondays, sponsored in part by JDP Electric. Each Monday, you can help by supporting participating sponsors who dedicate a portion of their sales to help save lives of children in our community. Thank you. Find out where at kfgo.com slash miracle or text kids to 35270. Miracle Mondays made possible by JDP Electric, providing professional electrical services for residential, commercial, and industrial. Hey, this is Eric Hatch with Hatch Realty, and I have a pile of investors buying homes for cash right now, and they're ready to buy in a snap. If you own a house and want to sell it without any hassle for a fair price, call me, 701-369-4839. We can pay cash and close in as little as 10 days. We buy houses in any condition, any price range, and any location in and around the North Dakota and Northwestern Minnesota areas. Our real estate investors buy several homes a month, and they want to buy even more. We buy inherited houses divorce houses, behind in payment houses. Heck, we even buy the my tenant won't pay me my rent houses. Do you own a house that's trashed and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Does it have a busted foundation or a broken sewer line? Great! Because we buy junky houses too. We buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses, and foreclosed houses. Do you own a home and want to sell it fast? Give us a call 701-369-4839 or head to HatchRealty.com to sell in a snap. And don't forget to tune in to Real Estate Radio Sunday mornings on KFGO, hosted by me, Eric Hatch. All I want for Christmas is a DWI. Yeah, said no one ever. Impaired driving kills the holiday spirit. Drive sober, drive smart. Extra enforcement now on Minnesota roads. A message from the Minnesota Department of Public Safety. Not all kids with crooked teeth can afford braces. Luckily, there's donated orthodontic services from the American Association of Orthodontists. Kids who qualify can be matched with a volunteer orthodontist. Visit aaoinfo.org. Oh, 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 we'll go out with a little bit of that number one pop hit from all of 1969. Oh, honey, honey. Oh, yeah. All right. As we leave that in the background, as we wrap it up, uh, uh, the answer to that last question, many of you out there know. Somebody called in just out. Yes, it was, hello, Dolly. This is Louis Dolly. That, that was the musical based on Thornton Wilder's play, The Matchmaker. Opened on 1964 on Broadway. Polly Lines, do yes. you happen to know who was the original Dolly? I have no idea. Carol Channing. Oh. Carol reached the well, age of 98 the before she passed on in 2019. Carol Channing. Okay, we had 10 callers today answering 29 questions correctly. And although the prizes are still... Pending. Sp- <laughs> pending, that's it. Coming in second today with a fine performance, Steve H. of Hatton. He got six. And then Rod E. of Moorhead. Yes, folks, answering questions from all kinds of fields. He got nine today. Good job. All right. Um... We owe oh, about 30 seconds. Coming up following the top of the hour news, it's Outdoors Live with Doug Lear. Want to remind you to join Paul Myers and me and sometimes, sometimes not, Brady Brunsvold for Investment Talk brought to you by Legacy Wealth Management on Sunday mornings at 836 until 930. That's when we do it. Thank you, Paul. It was great fun having Welcome. you in here to Proust's version today. I hope that uh, Bob Harris makes a big comeback and can join us again in the not-too-distant fu- distant future. Uh, so, uh, I believe, uh, did I cover everything? Yeah, that'll do it. Steve Poitrain, have a great weekend. This is the Mighty 790 KFGO Fargo. This is CBS News on the Hour.